Well, last part was interesting. Now that we discussed everything about America and other countries and Bosnia Herzegovina, we can continue on our Katawan Shoujo adventure. We we'll leave the main building and Rin leads us onwards towards the dorm. We stop at a small patch of greenery in front of the dorm building. The dorm is built on a slightly elevated ground with a wall and a few trees that everyone has to circle around every time they come or go. It's probably the only inconvenient design in the school. Bro, it's never an inconvenience in my life. It's always an inconvenience in everyone else's life. Because I'm an, I'm, I'm passionate. I'm an, 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 I'm a passionate individual. Probably the only inconvenient design in our school. Seriously, why do you have to walk up like that? What happens if a tree falls? And there are no people who can hear that are around to hear it. Can they hear it? Like if a tree falls and let's say, Misha's deaf still. Well, she's not really deaf. Is she deaf? Wait a second. Misha's a mute. No, Misha's not a mute. No, wait a second. What the hell is Misha's disability? Misha can hear, but she can't... She can't speak? No, maybe she's deaf and mute. Holy fuck, I don't know Misha... No, no, not Misha, Shizun's. I don't know Shizun's true with disability. Because she signs. I think she just can't hear, but she can speak. Right? Yeah. No, that makes sense. But then why doesn't she talk? Unless it would sound like Helen Keller. Like, eh, 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 but that's really a fucked up thing. I shouldn't talk about that. That's not nice. Um, but I don't get it. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's not my problem. I'm, wait, I'm gonna be dating this girl! Oh, God. It could be my problem. It could be a very big problem. Jesus. The entire wall, made of the same kind of bricks as the building itself, has been covered with some sort of a painting. It's the ugliest goddamn painting I've ever seen. Most of it's still mere sketches, quick lines drawn with black and white against the gray plaster, and it covers almost the entire length of the wall. But some places look... Well, they look a bit more finished. Look at the shading. This, oh, this is a tree shadow. Never mind. There are human faces and legs and hands. I can't quite say what the painting is as a whole might portray. I think it involves a little man riding an elephant into a face of death. And as he enters the face of death, he appears as a new man. Yeah. That, that, that seems right. Stacks of what seem to be paint cans are arranged in piles on the ground, beside the wall. See, the left side is hardly off the ground yet. It's because I couldn't get in the mood yesterday, so I gave up. I went to meditate instead. Then it was suddenly morning. No, it wasn't suddenly morning. You've slept. God, I have to work on it. But the guys from our class are helping with the negative spaces and base services, whatever, which is a problem. It's easier to paint big trees if there are a lot of people with heads. I would definitely think painting with no hands is a talent that requires skill and finesse. Yes, I, I agree. The reach is better. And it's faster, too. I... Well, well, maybe if you didn't have your eyes closed half the time, it would be just as fast. She goes on a tangent of a tangent of another tangent, waving a little with her arm, or whatever theirs actually is. This is straight, even though I got the point already. Oh, she, she's pulling an Italian! Hey, beepity bobbity boo You talk with your hands. What do you call an Italian with no hands? A mute! Oh, I could say that because I'm Italian. Actually, fuck it, you could say it even if you aren't Italian. <laughs> Who's gonna get offended by that? It's hilarious. The white con of her sleeve flaps around like a duck. Like a duck. It makes it look... <laughs> it makes me think it could look sadder than it does. Oh god, it's really, it's really fucked up. She's just like flapping around. Like when you, and I think of like the definition of flailing around, I think of Rin just waving her nubs kind of thing, and it's like the shirt just flails. That's, that's what I think of. I'm going to hell. But it makes me feel out of place. Like almost every other tangible reminder of the student bases. Bases. Base? Yeah, bases. Bases. Student bases. Special properties has in the past few days. The girl doesn't know it's my dreary feelings, of course, from the fact that she lost me a while ago, and just keeps on blabbering. So that's why I was trying to figure out if there's something I need to figure out, and then figure that out before it's too late, and all hope is lost. Otherwise, I'm never gonna figure anything out. Why would... <laughs> why would the hope be lost? <laughs> because paint has to be painted, and it has to dry, and it has to be painted over with another kind of paint. I know! Varnish! I don't know, actually, no, I don't think that, I don't think that applies. Primer? Paint primer. You have to prime it, and then varnish it. It takes time. She finally stops. Apparently thinks she's made some kind of statement. That makes sense. Oh, it makes time. It takes time. You know, stitching time saves night. And the cat in the hat. She got shot by a man with a bat. It makes takes any time. All the time in the world. I think it's best to start from the top. So this is a project. You you did this. Well, of, of course. Otherwise, she wouldn't be talking about it. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, all of it? It's kind of a lot. Yes. Well, that's impressive, Rin. With no hands to boot. Nice, but... I stumble with my words, suddenly feeling I've walked straight into the minefield of political incorrectness. Alright, alright, so we're gonna navigate the minefield of political incorrectness. Ready with me? Okay. Narrow, 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 narrow. Rin, 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 she's got no, 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 hands to do. Rin is 
is a person with no hands. That's politically incorrect. She's a person with no hands. How does she paint? I don't understand. Rin, 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 no hands. Rin, rin, no, no hands. Rin, rin, no, no hands. I feel like if I was able to sing it, it'd be less offensive. So I decided to sing it. I hope we can understand my no hands song. It's okay. You could say it. I probably won't get mad. No hands! No hands! No hands! I'm good. I'm real good. I blush really hard. I don't really know what it would be like the right thing to say. I mean, it feels like I'm way more sensitive than Rin is, which you are. You are more sensitive because you have feelings. Rin doesn't have feelings. As we discussed in the prior part before, a Zanakai is the worst bigot, racial, sexist, nationalist person there is because he has feelings. So you can't be a bigot if you have feelings. I mean, you can technically. You can be like, well, I have feelings for one people, not the other people. You can, which is stupid. But he has feelings for all the people. So it's hard for him not to be sensitive. When you have feelings, you are sensitive. That is why females like the sensitive kind. They like the sensitive nature of man. They want men inside the... That's a really poor choice of words. They want men around them. But not on their faces. If that makes sense. This is really awkward. No, what I just said was really awkward, Asal. I said some awkward things. Don't you ought to ask? Not, not really. I sang about it. I felt good singing. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, fuck it. How do you paint with no hands? Without hands? See, I'm an easy person to talk to, right? With my feet. But you wouldn't know that, would you? But I'm gonna smile and pretend like I care. I <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. But, but isn't that hard to do? You're good at guessing. Anyway, I don't think it is. But maybe I'm used to it by now. I can't get my mind around the fact that she could be an artist. But seeing how uh, she is very adept with using her feet, I mean, she eats with her feet. Painting might not be a problem either. No, painting requires precision. With your feet in your mouth, you have to get it in one hole. And you, if you open your mouth really wide, and like you're using like a spoon or a fork, you have a pretty good chance of getting it in. I mean, think about it. You just have to get a little spoon in your mouth. That's not too bad. I could probably do that if I could bend my leg up to my face. But saying I could and I was able to do that, yeah, I think I could. With a paintbrush, you have to get it down to the exact pixel. Well, this is the real world, so the exact, I don't know, millimeter by millimeter spot. Fuck it. Nanometer by nanometer spot to get the right ink drop on it. You got precision is beyond, beyond uncomprehensible, man. It just, it just blows anything out the water. It just blows everything. It's just a man with a giant penis fetish in the water, and he's blowing everything. That's what it blows out of the water. So I don't get it. The afternoon light works pretty well. I was afraid it would look too flat, but it's not like that after all. You like flat, don't you? I saw you hitting on Emmy. She's flat. Even when she's at her heaviest. Huh. huh. You, you saw that? <laughs> Don't say anything, please. I think it's actually pretty interesting. I wanted to see what it looks like in dim light. Do you think it's flat? I think you're very flat. Fl I think the painting's very flat. I think it's very, very flat. Yeah, well, well, paintings tend to be flat. I mean, it's like if you were drawing a painting of yourself. You would want the chest area to be flat. I mean, right, come on. Written shot. Sorry, that's what I do. Not like that flat. You know, flat. Like some people are. No substance. No be where there should be some. Do you are you are you calling my personality flat? Cause I take offense, man. I take extreme offense. I'm offend I'm offended. A few girls who oh okay, okay, I, I get it, but I couldn't really tell. I'm not that good with art. I can't name any artist or artistic terms. Foreground, background, fully no arms. I don't know. So I really don't have anything to say about art in general, me either. I like the way it looks, that's about it. I, I took an art class. I forgot everything about it. There was rocks in it. We looked at the rocks and described how it made us feel. I was like, this rock, it's so big. When I look at it, my emotions tremble beneath me. I can almost feel my feet swell up as my knees begin to shake. A cringing feeling in my stomach is induced by the sheer size of it as it ponders over me and casts the elongated shadow, shadow of sorrow across my face. I too, I too feel the pain of the rock. And as the rock begins to shift side to side and the swaying winds, I worry for that not only if the rock is movable, but it means my life is movable. If the winds and time can move this gigantic beast, what means 
do I have of ever escaping the, the ever changing and ever shaping winds? I will forever be caught up in their gusts, and my life will be left in turmoil as I am tumbling down the hill, as this rock once did before it set upon these mountain tops. I wrote that. Fuck it, I said that in the speech. Fuck it, I gave a public announcement to the school in front of millions of people. I said that. It felt good. Got a little off my chest that day. Bryn shrugs her shoulders at that, saying, Do it yourself. Without saying it, looks up at the sky as if trying to look at something up there. <gasps> I found God, and I'm going to paint him. I didn't think I could get any actual work done, but if you could give me a hand with the paints, I could do a little before it's too dark. Huh. Oh well. I wanted to get a halogen lamp like the ones they have at Sports Track, but there aren't any. They didn't trust me with the wires. They said, how could I tie something out with no heads? Well, good, good point. Rinsher is quick to recruit my help, as was Shizun, the person who apparently is deaf. It really makes me feel that the festival is such a big project that every pair of hands is needed. <sighs> well, it looks like they didn't care about Rin that much. Why not? Not really sure if I can be of any help, though. You know, it's just mixing some paints. You could do that, probably. Do you have motor control problems? Like, you know, those people who have some? Are you suffering cerebral palsy? No. No, cerebral palsy, baby. No, 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 not that I know of. I'm fully capable of uh, controlling my motor skills and... Oh, God, I can't control my motor skills. Sorry. Um, not that I know of. No, I was fucked up. I get it. Hard thing he wants nothing to do with that. She gives me a sly look for some reason. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it, it doesn't. And I think you're eyeing my penis, so please, please, not that. Stop looking at my general groin region. I think... Yeah. Yeah. Ah! That's him! <laughs> Stop looking at me! Stop looking! Stop it! Please, thank you! Thank you! Let's do it then. Uh, good, good, smile and be happy and cheerful. She sits on an empty wooden box and very naturally picks up a wide brush between the toes of her bare right foot. I open a few of the cans and pour some of the contents into shallow bowls for mixing. The thick paint flows lazily from the cans to the bowl, like syrup. But you can't eat it because it isn't syrup. If you eat it, you'll probably get lead poisoning and it's probably toxic. Do paints contain lead nowadays? I think. Do they still? They take that out. I think they still do. I mix him, creating funny, hypnotic-looking swirl patterns that melt quickly into each other to form a new monotone hue. Rin sets to work every now and then asking me for a hand with something or the other. Dot dot dot. Finding different brushes is easy enough, but mixing the paints with the exact tone the girl is apparently seeing in her head is a frustrating ordeal. She wants precision down to the last millimeter before she is satisfied. She wants precision and she paints with her feet? What the hell kind of planet do we live on? Some S9 backwards planet? But her instructions are obscure at best. And half a splash of green. Don't add more. I crouch on to pick up a can of bright green. The other green. This green. I carefully pour some of the other green <clears throat> into the mixing bowl. No, that's almost a whole splash. More white. Is green a good color to add? I, I'm not an artist. I'm, you're the artist. I, I, the, the fuck is this thing? A hint of smile appears in the corners of her mouth. Do you lack an opinion? Well, when it comes to something about you, yeah, I was gonna be like, wow, this girl's pretty attractive. And now, after talking to you, I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna lack an opinion on the topic here. No, it's just I have no idea. It's not that I lack an opinion, I just I lack a voice in the subject. Why would I want to give an opinion to something I have no knowledge in? It makes me look like an asinine. An asinine person. Or, hard to my French, but you, sir, are an asshole. It's okay, because I just got an idea. Add more white. With this exclamation, I pour a minuscule amount of white into the bowl and mix it. It looks slightly whiter. Yeah. That's not good. It has to be like the color when you wake up and you know that you saw the meaning of life in a dream, but can't remember it. You know, like you're doing some hardcore heavy drugs. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Sure, Rin. Let me just add some more on that. Maybe it's yellow. Oh my god. Da, da, da. Despite the impossibility of mixing a color like the change of seasons or any other nonsense that's being opposed to me, I find myself enjoying it more than I thought I would. My voice gives me super strength! Seeing a painting being born on the plaster wall feels like magic. Nothing was born! She had colors before, now it's black and white. I spend the moments I have between mixing paints, crouching down and paving, and just looking at her work. It feels slightly intrusive at first, like breaking some imaginary intimacy, but Rain doesn't seem to mind the least bit. Maybe it's just in my head. No, it's because you're secretly encroaching on her position, and as you get closer to her butt, you realize this is what Emmy wanted. And you realize Emmy's first was Rin! 